Hey, Jamie Stenhouse here, currently in GUI. And today I want to talk about the disciplines of execution and how to achieve your wildly important goals a lot quicker and a small little hack that I learned along my journey to help me execute my projects quicker and with less stress and with less resistance overall. So let's talk about execution. So when you have a new idea, if it be a new product or a new service or a new opportunity that you want to pursue, you're obviously very excited about that. It's a brand new concept, a new thought, and we feel very enthusiastic about it. However, we tend to put more attention on the enthusiasm, on telling people about the idea, on doing the pretty work within the project, if it be designing a logo for a new company that we just dreamed up or working on the pitch or the slides or doing anything besides the actual grunt work. You know, We think that because we're enthusiastic that the project is easy and we don't attack it as if it was a completely uphill, very difficult, hard project. So in order to execute quicker on a new idea and to follow through on your most important goals, as soon as you have the idea, as soon as you have the concept, the idea that if, if it be a new product, a new company, a new client pitch, whatever you're working on, as soon as you have it, you want to begin it immediately. So what tends to happen is people have an idea and they like it, they might write it down, they might do, they might do a few flow charts, which I've been guilty of as well, and they might talk about it with their friends, they might get proof from a client first before they go all in, they might do the logo for it first, the branding, they might figure out what to say, what is our core values for this new project right and we can get caught up in those enthusiastic tasks rather than doing the actual grunt work so as soon as you have an idea or a concept or anything you want to bring to life you kind of have to execute it immediately while you're still enthusiastic about it because the longer you leave an idea you're going to find out that it's it, it tends to be quite harder than what we first imagined to actually execute it so what i like to do with any of my new companies that i'm launching or any of my projects with my team as soon as we have a new idea we like to begin it like begin it in, in, in the next 24 hours so we get the team on board almost immediately and we begin to fail forward while we're still enthusiastic about the project because if we wait for too long the Enthusiasm tends to drop off as time ticks over, which means when we come up against a harder uphill task and we're not as enthusiastic as we were two weeks ago, it's, it's gonna be incredibly hard to discipline yourself to push for those hard times. Now, you might have that within your team, and if so, that's fantastic, but ideally you wanna create with the wind so that if you have that energy you have that momentum in there from the enthusiasm of the idea in the first place why not use that to execute immediately and push through the hard task while you're still enthusiastic about it so well, i'll give you a prime example i'm working on a new company i think i had the idea it was on a tuesday i had the idea I told one friend and then we began to put the team in place that saturday which is what five days later six days later we begun to build that new company six days later we begun to create it while we're still enthusiastic about it while the idea is still fresh while people are still excited to help out and get on board so my tip is make sure when you have an idea concept you begin to execute immediately while you still have the enthusiasm for it because the enthusiasm is, is going to push you through the hard tasks that will that, that will ultimately come up either now or if you tend to wait two three four weeks after planning the idea you're going to come up against hard things so execute quicker while you have the enthusiasm because i see many entrepreneurs have ideas and they're, and they're great ideas and they've had it for like two years and they've lost enthusiasm they've lost the enthusiasm to actually execute because they've talked about it so much right so you want to execute while the idea is still fresh why it gets you out of bed every morning while you're enthusiastic while you're excited about it use that as a driving force to execute quicker to solve the hard problems first while you're still enjoying the process do not wait two three four weeks to begin begin immediately and you know we will hear that again and again begin immediately before you have everything in place and it's true and it's not just because you get rewarded quicker but it's because you have the enthusiasm and the energy for it and that's really going to push you through those hard times that you might not have planned when creating this new company or this new project or when you're pursuing a new goal so if you if you have a idea to begin training or, or, or you want to start going to the gym then 
go to the gym that very day. As soon as you have it, right, begin immediately. If you have a great idea that you're keen to pitch a, a potential client, then call them up within, within that half an hour. You're still enthusiastic about the idea before fear begins to set in, right? The more time you allow between the idea and the execution, the more excuses that can slip in there, the more problems, the more, oh, this is too hard, will it work? Is it really worth it, you know? And just the quicker you can execute while you have that enthusiasm and that excitement for the project, the, the, the less fear will set in because you're not allowing time for that to happen. The less excuses will set in from your team and other people around you because they're excited about the idea. And the more energy you, you have to push through problems that will come up as well. So in short, when you have an idea, execute immediately. If you, if you have an idea to you know, pitch a new client, then call them up within that 10, 20, 30 minute period. Or if you want to look at creating a new company like I did, Put the team in place, if not that week, that very day if you can. If you want to create a new product or service, what can you begin today that's hard, that while you have that enthusiasm for the idea, that you have that excitement for it, you're able to begin pushing towards it immediately with full steam, because you've got that drive, you've got that excitement for it, right? So when you're excited about a project or a product or an idea, use that as an opportunity to begin it and, and begin executing ways to have that enthusiasm enthusiasm for it as well. So that's it from here in Greece. I am working on two new companies that I begun, I reckon within a week of having the idea for each of them. So, and I found that when I begin quickly, we find the problems quicker and we're able to solve them with a smile on our face because we still have the enthusiasm and the excitement for the idea because it's still brand new to us, right? Have you ever tried to work on a client project or a project in general that's four years old or that's two months old, you know? You get bored of seeing it. You get exhausted of the idea and the problems and the concepts and the action items. So you gotta, you gotta trick yourself. You gotta play to your enthusiasm. You gotta play to your excitement. You gotta execute or strike while the iron's still hot, as they say. So use your enthusiasm as a tool to execute and build that discipline to achieve your wildly important goals. Another quick thought while I was just closing up that vlog. I believe many ideas that do not get executed on it's not because they're hard or because a person isn't the right person. It's because they lost the enthusiasm. They lost the enthusiasm to solve the obstacle or to problem solve or to hire other people or to look outside of the box. So again, excitement and enthusiasm are very helpful tools when you should be launching out a new project, product or idea. So be sure to play to those strengths. Play to your excitement. As soon as you feel excited about it, begin executing immediately because that's the easiest time for you to push through the hard stuff, right? It's, e it's easy to embrace the annoying task when you feel excited about the outcome on the other side.